All right, now, a bit of an update how our pharmacy clients fear COVID year. You know, if you were effect, how you're affected your pharmacy in COVID year depended a lot on where you were, right? CBD, not so good. Urgent, not so good. Some walls initially, not so good. Um, tourist areas, I talked to someone from Rotary yesterday, it wasn't so bad, but I, I imagine Queenstown and other areas, heavy in tourists, not so good. Suburban, however, did better than last year. I didn't think anyone would do better than last year, but they did. And that was largely to do with the working from home phenomenon. So large employers, your insurance companies, your banks, your government departments, they've all got these flexible working arrangements uh, twice, two days a week, a lot of them, because you have a government department or a bank. There's a ton of people who have left the city two days a week. So that's tough on the CBDs. I feel sorry for you. You suburban people, you've got these people you know by now, uh, and it's an opportunity to lock in new client, new customers, uh, through excellent customer service. Uh, one of the other, another opportunity is vaccinations. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into that, but the, uh, in addition to vaccinations, the other big opportunity is monthly dispensing. Now I know it caused havoc, didn't it? Unfortunate timing, you had email, switched to email scripts at the same time, so, you know, Lord, and, and so they were coming in faster than you could send them out. Uh, they were monthly now, so you never had any plan, you didn't have staff in place for that. If you're not here, you would have got robots or something. Um, but it was an opportunity, and once you got through that time, it was an opportunity to, where appropriate, retain some of those monthly dispensings because. I guess you all know that. It's $5.43 for a stat item. It is $30.50 if you uh, dispense it monthly without any increase in your, in your drug cost. But it goes straight from your gross profit. If it's straight profit, you've got a wage cost, so you need to be able to cover that. If you've got a bit of spare capacity, that's fine. If you're getting an accounting robot from one of these dudes at the back, that will help make some space. But that is, that is clear profit. You just need some wage, wage um, space to cover it. Um, the other thing that monthly dispensing is doing is bring, bringing people into your shop two more times. And if you're up your retail game, you go and talk to um, John Saywell or, or Phil, and up that game, you can increase your conversion rate. And it's a double whammy game. Uh, we had clients this year that increased their repeats by 30 to 50%. We had one that increased repeats by 100%. I don't know how he did that. Maybe it was low before, but it showed on its bottom line. Um, overall script numbers, new scripts were down a bit, but with a big increase in repeats, the overall script numbers were up about 8 to 15%. For our group, retail, retail took a, a bit of a hit, didn't it? You were locked down for six weeks. I just remember the stories of you guys having to make these little cubby holes or have these protocols. Um, uh, people were coughing into the elbow, washing their hands, so flu, cold, uh, cold and flu was down. So they were negatives, but um, it was offset. You saw a lot of hand sanitizer and masks, and the monthly dispensing was bringing people in more, more often. So um, most of our clients were about 7 to 10% down on retail still for that year. Retail always drifts down, unfortunately, not for everyone. Um, the people who it doesn't drift down on are the people who are really working. You know, Phil, uh, Phil and John's stuff yesterday was awesome. They were really, you know, the Tavirex and, and, and knowing your companion, the ones that sell most commonly next to Tavirex, making sure your staff know how to upsell it, that was awesome stuff. Um, people that are doing that, they are counteracting the, the natural drift down in retailers online and certain months and whatnot tend to take more and more. Wage subsidy now. Um, uh, if you were CBD and maybe more, maybe urgent in a tourist area, no problems, you claim the wage subsidy, fine, you would you would qualify. A lot of people claimed it, a lot of pharmacies claimed it, like a knee jerk. It was a it was a very uncertain time and they claimed it. And then later on they worked out, yeah, we actually didn't qualify. We'll stick it in a bag. What will we do? They call me. I said, we'll stick it in a bag again and wait and see what the government does. Well, we're still waiting. The government, there's no whispers at all on the grapevine that they're going to start sending out auditors. They are very busy with 
Australian bubbles and vaccinating us all. So at some stage though, they will. And I have no idea what they're gonna do. I think it might not even be a priority. I'm not saying they should just keep it night at some point forever, but bear in mind they may order. And the other thing is you may create a tax event by keeping it. Uh, your wage subsidy itself is not taxable. A bit for your staff is not taxable income, but the wages you pay using your wage subsidy are not deductible wages for tax. If you leave 50 grand sitting in your bank account forever or ever, you will, there's nothing in the ID guidelines that you could look through a tax event, so just be aware that uh, if you haven't used it, you probably should repay it. Um, otherwise you might get a tax assessment at some stage. In terms of profit, profit balanced out, a lot of our clients are actually up and they're sort of suburban ones. So aside from CBD, mainly CBD, because uh, we don't have a lot of tourist <coughs> clients, uh, profit was actually up. But to put that increased profit in perspective, if you divided it by a shareholder, you know, directly or hours, you know, particularly between May and 1st of August, mm -hmm. monthly dispensing, uh, it, you wouldn't have increased your profit per hour worked because you worked so many hours. Uh, up till midnight, so they're clearing your emails. Um, right.